Good morning, Zimbabwe. Fellow Zimbabweans, following the address we made on 13 November 2017, which we believe our main broadcaster, Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation, and the Herald were directed not to publicize the situation in our country has moved to another level. Firstly, we wish to assure the nation that His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe and Commander in Chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, Comrade Araji Mugabe, and his family are safe and sound and their security is guaranteed. We are only targeting criminals around him who are committing crimes that are causing social and economic suffering in the country in order to bring them to justice. As soon as we have accomplished our mission, we expect that the situation will return to normalcy. To the civil servants, as you are aware, there is a plan by the same individuals to influence the current purging which is taking place in the political sphere to the civil service. We are against that act of injustice and we intend to protect everyone of you against that. To the judiciary, the measures underway are intended to ensure that as an independent arm of the state, you are able to exercise your independent authority without fear of being obstructed, as has been the case with this group of individuals. To our members of parliament, your legislative role is of paramount importance for peace and stability in this country. And it is our desire that a dispensation is created that allows you to serve your respective political constituencies according to democratic tenets. To the generality of the people of Zimbabwe, we urge you to remain calm and limit unnecessary movement. However, we encourage those who are employed and those with essential business in the city to continue their normal activities as usual. Our wish is that you enjoy your rights and freedoms and that we return our country to a dispensation that allows for investment, development and prosperity that we all fought for and for which many of our citizens paid the supreme sacrifice. To political parties, we urge you to discourage your members from engaging in violent behavior. To the youth, we call upon you to realize that the future of this country is yours. Do not be enticed with the dirty coins of silver be disciplined and remain committed to the ethos and the values of this great nation. To all churches and the religious organizations in Zimbabwe, we call upon you and your congregations to pray for our country and to preach the gospel of love, peace, unity, and development. To both our people and the world beyond our borders, we wish to make it abundantly clear that this is not a military takeover of government. What the Zimbabwe Defense Forces is doing is to pacify a degenerating political, social, and economic situation in our country, which if not addressed, may result in a violent conflict. We call upon all the war veterans to play a positive role in ensuring peace 
stability and unity in the country. To members of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, all leave is cancelled and you are all to return to your barracks with the immediate effect. To our respected traditional leaders, you are the custodians of our culture, customs, traditions, and heritage. And we request you to provide leadership and direction to your communities for the sake of unity and development in our country. To the other security services, we urge you to cooperate for the good of our country. Let it be clear that we intend to address the human security threats in our country. Therefore, any provocation will be met with an appropriate response. And to the media, we urge you to report fairly and responsibly. We thank you.